Aloha, my name's Olivia Vicky Lee and I'm your success coach. Why are you still single? Do you look at married people and go, why are they married? When you have a lot more to offer. You're doing something that is not attracting commitment. You are not attracting people who want to commit to you. And in this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to attract somebody who wants to commit to you. But first, I want to answer your question, why are you still single? And here's the answer. The life you want is the life you have. Freedom. Right now, you're free to date whoever you want, free to do whatever you want on your dates. You can sleep in on Sunday mornings. You can go dancing on a weekday night. Commitment is this exact opposite of freedom. Commitment, you don't get to do whatever you want. You don't get to uh, date whoever you want. You've got to pay the bills. You've got to get a kids to school on time. And so how are you going to attract commitment? How are you going to attract the exact opposite of freedom? And here's the secret. You have to have a routine of discipline. People can tell if you're ready to commit or not. And the more ready you are, the higher their interest level in you is because it seems like you have more to offer. So you've got to be that person. You've got to be the person that looks like she or he has more to offer somebody who wants to commit to. And there's four ways that you're going to do that. Now remember the secret formula. You have to have a routine of discipline. So the first way to attract commitment is physical discipline. I want you to pick something that you're willing to be disciplined at on a physical level. So let's say that's line dancing. You're, you're willing to commit to that. Okay, make it mandatory, not optional. And build it into your routine. The second way to attract commitment is emotional discipline. So utilize your gift. What are you gifted at? Are you good at listening? Listen more. Are you good at singing? Sing more and then build it into your routine. It's mandatory, not optional. The third way to attract a commitment is mental discipline. Commit to being successful at a career where you make a difference in the world. And the fourth way to attract a commitment is spiritual. Aspire to your dreams and don't just talk about it. Do it. Most people who are on active search or hunt for love, they're going to go do fun things. They're going to go on vacation. They're going to go to Coachella. They're going to go to Vegas. They're going to go to bars and nightclubs because it makes sense that if you put yourself in a leisurely social setting, you're going to meet other people who are searching for love. But you know what? You're only going to meet people who are searching for fun. You aren't going to meet people who are searching for work, the work it takes to build a real commitment. Dating's fun. Commitment is work. So if you want commitment, you have to make the work that you do in your life fun and enjoyable so that you can attract somebody else who wants to do the work with you, who wants to build a life together with you. Dating is temporary fun. Commitment is long-term work. So if you want to attract commitment, you want to make your life's work a joy. You know, if this video has helped you in any way, please, please, please share it on your Facebook page. Comment on it. Share it on your YouTube channel. Forward it to friends and family. And keep the conversation going so I can continue to help you. Thank you so much.